Hi Ash class, time for a story. And today I'm reading you The Magic Paintbrush. Now, I can't tell you who the author is of this story because it's a traditional Chinese tale. One that has been told over and over again and written down in lots of different ways over the hundreds of years. It started in China, so I thought it would be a good one for us to read today on Chinese New Year. The Magic Paintbrush. Oh, look, we've got some picture words here we can look at. Su Ming, I think he's going to be our main character. His parents, old man, teacher, emperor, forest, wood, magic paintbrush, butterfly, crown, prison, and snake. Now, who is an emperor? That's right, he was somebody that was in charge. So the emperor was in control. Let's find out what happens in our story. Su Ming and his parents lived near a forest. Every morning, Su Ming got wood from the forest. He sold it in his village. <gasps> Looks like hard work, doesn't it? Dragging that. One evening, Su Ming sat next to a river. A white bird flew down and Su Ming drew a picture of it. I don't want to sell wood. I want to draw, thought Su Ming. Look at all his drawings in the sand. One morning, Su Ming walked past a school. He saw students painting. Su Ming ran into the class. Can I paint too? He asked. The teacher saw Su Ming's old clothes. You have no money, he said. Now go. So because Su Ming is poor, he's not allowed to go to school. That's sad, isn't it? That night, Su Ming could not sleep. I can't paint, he thought. I must work because we have no money. Then Su Ming saw an old man in his bedroom. I have something for you, the old man said, but you must help people with it. In the morning, Su Ming found a paintbrush. He painted flowers and a butterfly. <gasps> Look at those beautiful pictures that he's painted. Su Ming's mother came in and the butterfly flew on her face. The paintbrush was magic. Then Su Ming painted some bread for his family. We are not hungry now, they said. What a clever idea. He's painted some food because his family are poor. They didn't have much money. They were hungry. So he painted them some food. Su Ming painted food and animals for people in the village. Soon the emperor of China learned about Su Ming. He sent for him. Does he look happy and kind? No. Paint me a crown, he said. Oh dear, I wonder what Su Ming's going to do. No, my paintbrush must help people, said Su Ming. A crown can't help people. Put him in prison, shouted the emperor. The emperor took the paintbrush. <gasps> He's not very kind, is he, putting Su Ming in prison? The emperor painted lots of money with the paintbrush. It changed into snakes. Help! He shouted, why do you think the money changed into snakes? That's right, he was being selfish. He didn't need any more money. He wasn't helping anybody else, was it? The emperor took Su Ming from prison. Paint a big sea for me, he told Su Ming. Su Ming painted water and beautiful fish. Now paint me a big ship, said the emperor. Su Ming painted a big ship and the emperor stood on it. There's no wind, the emperor shouted. Su Ming painted a very strong wind. What do you think might happen? The ship went under the water and the people never saw the bad emperor again. So Su Ming was helping the people because they got rid of the bad emperor. Su Ming went home. Every day he painted beautiful things. He 
he was very happy. Oh, isn't that lovely? He was very good and kind with his magic paintbrush, wasn't he? I hope you enjoyed that traditional Chinese tale. Bye for now, Ash Class.